Welcome back to Motoblade, everyone. It has been a long ass winter, and as much as I love the snow and love skiing, for the first time in my life, I am so glad winter is finally over. Oh, I've been wanting to ride my motorcycle for so long. Battery was dead, so I had to take it out of the bike, put it on a big charger, get it all charged up. I've checked the oil, she's got fresh fuel. I've got a couple gallons of uh, fuel in my garage, so I don't actually have to stop and fuel up while I'm out, because we're living in the coronavirus times. Don't want to touch anything. Cleaned up the bike. She had a lot of dust on her from the winter, from sitting in my wood shop, doing a lot of woodworking projects over the winter time. Oh, it just feels so good to get out and ride. It's 55, today's the first day we've kind of gotten out of the 40s up here, and there's still snow on the ground up in the mountains and down in a few spots in the valley. It just feels good to get out of the house. That's one problem riding this time of year, all the dust. These freaking morons don't know how to keep it on the road. As long as you stay inside the white line, it's fine. You get over that white line, all that dust and dirt, that's when they kick it up. It's like no one knows how to drive down the middle of the road anymore. Oh, we gotta hang over the edge. So I ended up putting the bike away this past winter a lot earlier than I expected because we had a lot of snow back in November. So I didn't get to ride at all from November to beginning of April. What's today? April 4th, 5th? Something like that. So that's a very, very long time to go without riding my motorcycle. And I guess I should tell you guys what I'm thinking about as far as uh, motorcycles are concerned because most of my channel has been built off of uh, checking out new bikes and reviewing stuff for you guys, which is a little bit difficult to do at the moment because dealerships are not letting us come do test rides, you know, everybody's freaked out about the coronavirus and understandably so. But that kind of limits a lot of the video reviews I can do for you guys. Oh, that wind's cold. But I have had a few ideas about what I'm going to do to this bike. If I end up keeping this motorcycle, I'm going to put the trunk on the back and maybe even the front leg fairings, turn it into a real touring machine. But you guys notice I said, if I keep this bike. And it is not that I don't love my Chieftain Dark Horse, okay? I, I absolutely love this girl. But I've had my sights on something and I'm thinking about maybe going with the Indian Challenger. If I can ever, you know, get some seat time on one. I would love to try out that Indian Challenger with that new engine, the updated ride command, the bigger uh, stereo system up front. It's 100 more watts in the front. A little more storage capacity in that big fixed front fairing. It's Indian shot at the Harley Road Glide, and I do like the Harley Road Glide. That's probably one of my favorite Harleys I've ever ridden. But I've never really liked the the look of the Harley Road Glide. I, I don't know. Harleys just don't do anything for me. But the Indian Challenger is something else. I've been watching a lot of reviews, a lot of test ride videos, and. I'm pretty psyched about the Indian Challenger. I'm talking to my guys down in Tennessee, actually, where I got my Chieftain and where I got my Chief before that, Crockett Power Sports in Chattanooga. I'm talking with them and seeing uh, what we might be able to do, because I can't really leave the state and drive down there right now. You know, we're under a stay-at-home order, but thankfully you can go the long way if you want to go to the grocery. So that's what we're basically doing today is... Uh, going out for an essential purpose we're just taking way too long to get there a 
hundred. I've been waiting all winter to do that. All right, all right. I'll go easy on you, girl. It's your first day out. I did let her warm up quite a bit before we brought her out today because she has sat all winter long and has not moved. I do a little pre-ride maintenance check, you know, got the tires back up to where they should be. Actually, over the winter time, considering it got down to like 20 degrees in the garage over the winter, I thought I would have a lot more uh, tire leakage, perhaps. But as it turns out, uh, she was only down by about 3 PSI in the front and 4 PSI in the rear wheel. So she held air really well all winter long. She really just needed a cleaning, so spent two or three hours doing that. But yeah, the Challenger with that new Power Plus engine and the sport mode, uh, the engine modes, I know they have the engine modes on the 116 and the 111, well, I don't think they, I think they stopped the 111. I think we've gone to the 116 now. Maybe they still have the 111. Just a quick stop here. I'm putting on my, uh, leather gloves with a little sheepskin inside because those summer riding gloves are just too lightweight for today it is still just too cold for the summer gloves yet oh there we go But from what I've seen of the Indian Challenger with that Power Plus engine and the different riding modes, the sport mode hauls some serious ass. I watched a guy do a wheelie with it out of uh, first gear in sport mode and the bike just, the front end just rotated up like nothing. Of course, he was also a fairly skilled uh, stunt rider. But even so, the Power Plus engine is something to behold. You know, I've, I like the V-twin, I like hearing that roar of the engine, and I've noticed the Challenger is a little bit quieter. It doesn't have that deep, throaty, meaty sound of the 111 Thunderstroke. But with the right set of pipes on it, I'm sure it could be made just as loud. So that's my plan. And again, if, if that doesn't work out, if we don't necessarily come to a deal on it this year, this season, this riding season, uh, then I'm just going to put the trunk on the Chieftain. Maybe get those front leg fairings. Definitely need some highway pegs. I'm tired of resting my feet up on the highway bars in the front. I'd rather have some pegs out here at the side for riding long distance. And probably another thing I want to do is get rid of this touring windshield. I like the touring windshield for the protection it provides, but it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like the hat the freaking Pope wears or something. It's just got a weird shape to it. And when I ordered it, I thought I was ordering the windshield that was from the Roadmaster series. And it wasn't. So I want to get the kind of squared off profile windshield they have on the Indian Roadmasters. And then I think I'll have this bike pretty much set up the way I want for long haul travel. So this will be my third, no, fourth, fourth season riding motorcycles. So if you guys came to my channel because you watched my motorcycle videos, I'm glad you've been along with me for these past three years and going into my fourth year here on YouTube. If you came to my channel because you watched my flying videos, which just started this past year when I got my pilot's license, I hope you enjoy the motorcycle videos as well. And my plan was right now to be doing IFR training. I'm working towards my commercial license, but the airport has shut down our flight school. My flight instructor, even though he's a private instructor, uh, he is not doing any flight lessons right now. And that's good. I mean, we're supposed to be social distancing. And two people in close proximity in the cockpit of an airplane, not the best idea at the moment. But I was hoping to have all these flying videos up for you guys over the past month or so. From the beginning of March until now, I had a whole list of aircraft videos planned for you guys. And they will happen. They're just, they've been put on the back burner. It feels like everything's been put on the back burner. However, 
if it stays warm enough, I will have plenty of motorcycle videos coming out because I am considered non-essential. So I have plenty of uh, time off to ride my bike until I'm allowed to go back to work. No one planned for this to happen and I understand that, but I am seriously enjoying the time off at home right now with my family. All my family is together up here, so I'm enjoying it for what it is. It's time with my family that we weren't necessarily planning on, but we're having a lot of fun anyway. Plus, it's a lot of extra time to ride my motorcycle, which is, you know, fantastic as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking with me all winter, even though the videos were uh, slim pickings there. Just got shut down with all this mess in the world. Didn't get as much stuff filmed as I had planned, but that's how it goes sometimes. But I will have plenty more videos coming at you now that the weather's warmer. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It's the big red button down there on the screen. Hit the bell icon next to it. That will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. If you guys haven't checked out my t-shirt inventory and my Motoblade merch, I will throw a link to it up on the screen where you guys can go find it. Proceeds from that go right back into funding the channel. Basically putting gas in the bike so I can bring you guys more videos. So until next time, everyone, you know what to do. Be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on. I will catch all of you later. Deuces.